Hello Kenny, we're here tonight to ask Kenny a few questions. Um, Kenny Thompson, your life before football, uh, how come you ended up with DFC? Was it your local team? Or? Yes, uh, it was my, my local team, uh, being from Townhill, uh, a village just outside of Fairman. Um, uh, I played with my, my father's team uh, before uh, coming to Dunfermline, played for the under-16 team and then um, after that uh, we joined uh, Dunfermline United which was formed by uh, Dunfermline Athletic at that time. Uh, unfortunately they couldn't play under Dunfermline Athletic, had to be Dunfermline United at that time. So uh, then uh, we came down and played uh, with the under-18 team and uh, played a season with them and then uh, after that played uh, for Dunfermline. Were you full time? Yes, uh, we were full time from 70 to 76 for six years, which was uh, absolutely fantastic. And you carried on, you were here from 70 to 82, is that correct? That's correct, yep. 353 appearances uh -huh. and five goals, is that uh, Well. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember them, to be quite honest with you, probably not very startling. <laughs> um, your grandfather was a member of a Pars team that lifted the qualifying cup in 1912. That's you, correct, yes. Were uh -huh. you, um, influenced by your grandfather? Was he part of your... He, yes, obviously, my father. We've still actually got his uh, strip from 1911-1912 uh, and his medals. So um, uh, my father obviously showed us showed us them. So uh, it was uh, it was a good spot for uh, for us to go and play football. And did you come to the Dunfermline games as a, as a youngster? Yes, uh -huh. so uh -huh. I was. Uh, I was at the last game before the the old stand was knocked down, and uh, the new stand was built. That was I think that was one of my my first games. So, uh, so it was quite uh, an achievement. Yes, uh -huh. no, that, that was a, a obviously a local boy, and uh, you play for your local team. It's it can't get any better than that. So did you go up to town on Saturday night and show uh, off to people like the youngsters? No, nowadays? certainly not, Margaret. I don't drink. <laughs> um, you were a fairly fit Scottish schoolboy long jump champion and uh, you won a professional football sprint competition twice in a row in the 70s, so you must have been a fit enough player. Yes, I. Uh, but, but when we trained at the high school, uh, we'd done athletics. Uh, myself and Bonner uh, were always in the athletics team. Right. So uh, we always we were always fairly fit. Plus, my father kept us kept us fairly fit as well. Did you find that was an advantage when you came to play football? Yes, I. I well, being being athletic uh, with a, a father who was also a sprinter uh, helped me uh, enormously. Okay, so you had some ups and downs um, in your time. Uh, relegation from the first division in seventy one seventy two, straight back up seventy two seventy three. Um, how did you cope with the different emotions and the different elations and, and, and letdowns? Uh, it's obviously, it's very, very disappointing when you when you get relegated. But um, the unfortunate thing was uh, for the amount of times we got promoted with Dunfermline, we never got promoted as champions. It was always a runner-up, uh, which was a bit of a, a letdown because uh, obviously you're wanting to be, a, you know, a winner. Uh, but I mean, it was it was good. It was good going up, you know, getting the promotion. But you won promotion again in '79. Yeah, that was um, that was a good season. And was. you were player of the year that year. Yes, that's correct. So was that you maybe one of your best years? Yes, I. Uh, I, th I think I was probably just advancing in years a, a bit at that time, and uh, it was uh, it was a really good team that we had at that time. Uh, scoring plenty of goals, and uh, it was it was really good. And do you keep up with some of that team then? Uh, well, uh, there's, there's a few a few of them that come to the, the ex players uh, games and that. But a, a lot of the, the sort of regulars that joined with me at that time had already left, um, so uh, there wasn't a, a, a great deal of players left at that time who first started with me. And then after 12 years with the film, it's a long time. 12 years, uh, Pat Stanton let you go. Uh, yes, like, yes. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> I think we'll probably gloss over the, <laughs> uh, my feelings on that one, but uh, I'd, maybe he had, he had different ideas, so uh, I obviously didn't fit into his, his plans. So you were 
So time to go. Where did you go after that? Uh, I went to Alec Totten, actually took me to Alloa. Uh, for uh, I was there for five years, five very enjoyable years. Very friendly club uh, it was Alloa. Uh, and there, you want promotion there, and uh, I think one of my most abiding memories at that uh, Alloa was uh, I think we beat them firm on three nothing, and I think within a week Pat Stant was away. So it was I probably helped them firm in that respect. Made you feel better. <laughs> yes, as well. <laughs> And then St Johnson? Yes, I, actually it was Alec talking again, uh, him and Bertie, um, Bertie Payton were up at St Johnson and uh, we played them and uh, uh, on the way back, uh, I shouldn't really say this, but Bertie, Bertie kind of half tapped me uh, to see if I would like to, to join St Johnson and uh, I'd, we, we joined and I had three, three good seasons up there as well. Uh, they obviously wanted me for the, their youth policy because I was 38 I think at the time. <laughs> Um, and then after that, you yes, uh, probably a, probably a mistake on my part. Uh, just one okay. club too many. Yeah, no, not one club too many. Just a, um, what shall I say? Just a bad bad choice on my part. Oh, really? Yes. Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Won't say much more than that. No. So all of you, I mean, you've you've been around the Scottish area, but in this area, you've never been around this area. Um, what's your favourite game? If you, when you said before, you, there's a lot you don't remember. But well, there's a, a favourite. The favourite game I would I would probably remember is the the Rangers game uh, here, two two draw. Uh, when Alec Caninman scored an absolute fantastic goal for uh, corner kick. Uh, it was. Um, Great cross, just lost John Gregg and he uh, slammed it in the back of the net. That was an absolute great game. But I mean, uh, in that, uh, the season, the, the 79 season, there was a lot of great games. Uh, I mean, we were scoring goals for fun uh, at that time. And uh, there were some really, really good games in that. Who of all the players you've played with is, do you think, is the best one you've actually shared a pitch with? Whether it's been in your own team or... Uh, or <laughs> Well, no, no, no prompting from Bonner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's probably hit more people. Um, well, I mean, uh, shared well shared a pitch with George Best. He was he was with, in one of the Hibs teams that we played against, uh, albeit in his latter years. But uh, I mean, I would say the most difficult player that I ever played played against would be Paul Sturrock. Paul Sturrock was always it's very difficult, so quick on the turn, and uh, very very fast off the mark. And uh, it's no wonder he was, you know, a Scottish, Scottish internationalist. But he was one of the best players uh, that I would say played against. Have you got any memories that you want to share about any specific people? Mm. <laughs> be, be it good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think um, the 12 years that I was at Dunfermline was probably, I would say, the happiest years of my life so far. Uh, I mean, as I say, you, you can't get any better than playing for your local team uh, and being around local people because that's what we were at that time. Uh, we were young boys uh, coming through. So uh, all the friends that you'd, you'd known throughout that time, um, you were friends more or less forever. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a really great 12 years. And you obviously still come to the games because you're part of the former Players Association. Yes, so that's correct. Are you still enjoying your um, association with them? Uh, yes, uh, I would say it's a, it's a bit frustrating at times sitting, <laughs> sitting in a stand, uh, you know, watching, watching things. But it's, it's good to see, particularly now, the young boys uh, coming through and getting a chance. And uh, hopefully they'll they'll gel and they uh, go on to do great things in uh, the future. Good. Thank you very much for your time, Kenny. Thank you.